Well, hello, and welcome to Humberside Airport. Yep. Um, Bertie and I have landed about half an hour ago. It was a very, very good landing, even though Bertie complained. No, it's a lot. It's always complaining about my landings, always saying that they're too bumpy. Mm. So we're just having lunch. We brought a packed lunch. We're also charging up a few batteries, changing memory cards, and um, then we'll be heading off on our next leg to Dundee. Our flight from Humberside to Dundee is 206 nautical miles. We'll depart northwesterly and we'll track to the east of Durham Tees Valley. My plan is to transit Newcastle controlled airspace, turning in towards the Sierra Alpha Bravo VOR north of Sunderland. I'll route over the Firth of Forth through the Lucas Mats and I'll expect to land on the easterly runway at Dundee. It'll take approximately two hours. I get Bertie settled in the aircraft, I run my before start checklist, then request engine start. Humberside Tower, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo. Parked on the southern apron with information kilo QNH 1023, request engine start. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, Humberside Tower, start approved. Start approved, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo. Clear! After the engine has started, I follow my usual checklist and discover that my attitude indicator has not erected. Uh, OK, I've got a faulty uh, instrument here. So we've got a faulty artificial horizon. For VFR flight by day under EASA non-complex operations, I don't need the attitude indicator. If I wanted to enter instrument meteorological conditions, it would be a legal requirement though. I'm going to be okay for this flight. My vacuum pump seems to be working, so my other vacuum instrument, the direction indicator, should work. I'll check that on the ground as I turn. Humberside Tower, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo with Kilo QNH1023 at the Southern Apron request taxi, VFR flight to Dundee. Golf Oscar Romeo, Squawk 4264, taxi holding point Bravo. Squawk 4262, taxi holding point Bravo, Golf Oscar Romeo. 4264. 4264, Golf Oscar Romeo. Alright, that's working. The direction indicator appears to be working. I do my other pre-flight checks, then prepare to depart. Golf Oscar Romeo, line up runway 20. Line up runway 20, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, right turn out, clear for takeoff in 210 degrees, 4 knots. Right turn out, clear for takeoff, runway 20, Golf Oscar Romeo. Ready to go then, my little one? Speed alive, temperatures and pressures are in the green. At 65. Take off is at 35. Romeo, contact radar 119 decimal 125. Radar 119 decimal 125, Golf Oscar Romeo. With the additional RPM for takeoff, the attitude indicator appears to have sorted itself out now. One to watch though. I climb up to flight level 60, routing over the Humber estuary. The weather is Perfect for flying. Master Carve 8, top of crime, checks complete. 
So we're now uh, lean for the cruise. All right, darling. Yep. Good luck. How far it is? It's a two-hour journey, isn't it? How far is left? We've just taken off, so you've got some idea, haven't you, how long we've been going? Yeah? Yeah. Durham Radar, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo request, basic service. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, Durham Radar, basic service. Squawk 7041, please. Everything works out great, and I make short work of the first part of the journey. Getting a good uh, ground speed here, so I think uh, we're going to make good time. Golf Oscar Romeo, contact Newcastle Radar 124 decimal 375. Contact Newcastle Radar 124 375. Thank you. Good day, Golf Oscar Romeo. At this point, I see if I can get a shortcut through Newcastle's Class D control zone. Newcastle Radar Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo. I request zone transit. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, Newcastle Radar, good afternoon. You are identified as the basic service. It's a basic service, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, you are cleared of transit contrad airspace, but uh, altitude 6,000 feet, QNH 1021, route by the November Tango, please. Cleared across uh, Newcastle controlled airspace, altitude 6,000 feet, QNH 1021, route November Tango, Golf Oscar Romeo. So I got this shortcut. The route I've been given is via the Newcastle non-directional beacon, the November Tango. We were on a flight level, so I've now reset the altimeter to fly at altitude 6,000 feet on the QNH. They've given us a shortcut, Bertie. Really? Why? Well, I asked to go through this controlled airspace and they've uh, allowed me through, so... That's nice. Golf Oscar Romeo, radar control service. Radar Control Service, Golf Oscar Romeo. So, there's Newcastle Aerodrome down there. I miss home. You miss home already? Yep. But it sounds weird, but I do. Do you miss home a bit? Oh, yeah. And Golf Oscar Romeo, when you have it, can I have an estimate for Dundee, please? Estimate for Dump D is 15.35 Zulu, Golf Oscar Romeo. Thank you. I think you might have deserved pizza tonight, if we can find pizza. Thank you. Because you've behaved ever so well, haven't you? You've been very quiet. Really? Do you think? You've been good. I mean, pizza? I think if we can find a pizza place, we'll have pizza. So, we are now coming up on the Firth of Forth, which is the estuary to the southeast of Dundee and to the northeast of Edinburgh. Edinburgh's over there. And uh, Dundee is up that way. We're talking to Scottish Control. Scotland. Scotland, we're in Scotland. Nice view of the coastline there. Glad we had a break. Because, yes. Because it's a long old way. I'll be honest, I just want to get there now. Keeping a close eye on our ETAs because uh, we're sort of running to the minimum fuel legally. So uh, I was happy to do that today. We we couldn't. We had a slight um, at, at Humberside. We asked for fuel, and then we were waiting a while. So we left the plane, and then they came to deliver us fuel, and we weren't there. We had enough to make the full journey legally, but we're sort of right on the edge of our minimum for this journey. So we couldn't afford any chain, big change in wind speed. We've taken a slight shortcut through Newcastle, which will save a bit of time. And the weather's so good that really 
there is very, very little risk in uh, running to our minimums. Uh, What's up? Half an hour, darling. When you said about, like, us on minimum fuel, I'm worried about crashing. We're not going to crash, darling. You've got to trust, trust your dad, haven't you? I know you're a, you're a what's called experienced pilot, who surely can't be dis experienced. Well, when I say minimum fuel, that's fuel to get there, fuel to get somewhere else if we can't get there, and then another half an hour on top. Mm. So it's quite a conservative um, minimum, but that is the legal minimum. God, that's a nice view down there. If you look out the window down there, I don't know if you'd see, there's a nice coastline. Wow, look at the view. Go on, Fosco, Romeo, continue with Lucas. Uh, actually, before you go, uh, can you change Squawk to 7403? Seven, so, seven, squawk 7403, and continue with uh, Lucas uh, radar. Go on, Fosco, Romeo. Yep, and that's 126.5. 126.5 and squawking zero, uh, 7403, Golf Oscar Romeo. Thank you, goodbye. Bye. Oh, I'm getting a bit of sunburn on my neck. I can see two boats. Oops. Like, like I was planning to make a boating super birdie. I was planning to make a boat of a sort. So ATC have uh, just very helpfully uh, told me that I can expect uh, right base for zero 09. So uh, that's cutting a bit of time. Again. Again. Go for the Romeo navigation directed on D and report ready for descent. Are you match penetration approved at Lucas? Delta three, Roger. Taxi south side my name. Commencing descent now, Matt's penetration approved. Uh, are you bothered about the, my level during the transit? Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, descent to altitude 3,000 feet initially on the Dundee QNH 1020. Descent altitude 3,000 feet 1020. Thank you, Golf Oscar Romeo. You're going to need to pop your ears, darling, and make funny noises to get your ears to clear. Frida, fuel is on, radio's tuned and identified, and temperatures and pressures are in the green. Direction indicator is aligned, altimeter, we're on 1020. Golf Oscar Romeo, uh, from Dundee, no height restriction on your visual light base uh, for runway 09, squawk 7376. No height restriction on my base leg to zero 09, squawk. 7376, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, get there with Dundee now, 122.9, good day. 122.9, Golf Oscar Romeo, thank you. Golf Oscar Romeo, Dundee, Golf Oscar Romeo, Dundee, Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo positioning right base uh, runway zero nine. Go Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo Dundee approach Kathleen and uh, report right base runway zero nine Q and H combined QFE one zero two zero. Q and H one zero two zero report right base zero nine Golf Oscar Romeo. Brakes under carriage. Cheers, Rich. Can you put your um, game away now? It's a good point, too. As I concentrate on the approach to Dundee, I have little time to take in the spectacular views of the River Tay. Right, base 09 to land. Golf Oscar Romeo, report final. Report final, Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf 
Go for Oscar Romeo, turning final, 09 to land. Go for Oscar Romeo, runway 09, clear to land. Surface wind, uh, 10013 knots. Clear to land, 09, go for Oscar Romeo. Stable, we have clearance. Very well. Didn't you? Yeah. Long journey, eh? Boy, journey. I know, you did very well. It's a pleasure to share these adventures with you. This journey was flawless and we got a great reception here at Dundee. Bertie was quite taken aback when someone asked, are you the flying reporter? Many more adventures to come. Subscribe if you want more and click like if you liked it. Bye for now. <laughs>